This is Chris with Shotground.com. Brilliant. <laughs> what up, it's Mickey Halstead. I'm brilliant as well. Chicago, Uncrowned City Entertainment, Wild Hunted, Southside. It's me, the Uncrowned King. Okay, um, explain to us what you mean by uh, when you describe your lyrics as militant street wisdom. Uh, those are like the three components that embody Mickey Halstead. So, um, the militants, um, I'm just a, a history reader. Like the whole Black Panther era when I was a kid, me reading about uh, um, the Jonathan Jacksons and and the Huey Newtons and the Bobby Seals and reading about all of that, you know, the Fred Hamptons, that kind of like sparked my thirst for knowledge. It's like, you know, as a as a as a black boy growing up in the Chicago public school system, uh, a lot of the curriculum doesn't really grab your attention. And so the autobiography of Malcolm X actually was a book that somebody gave me like randomly, like an uncle. And I just picked it up one day and read it. And so it's kind of like changed my perspective of everything. I had to be like maybe 11 years old. I think I was like in sixth grade, seventh grade. And so uh, from that point on, I was just really thirsty to find all the literature that was militant and really got into the Garvey movement and all of that. So the more I learned, it just started a journey for knowledge. So my music is just an embodiment of me. And so that militant part of me, you know, and all of the, that I've read and that I've seen and been through myself just as being a black man in America, that's a big part of my music and that shines through so okay. uh, then the street is just you know I grew up on 116th and Morgan um, the kind of family that I'm from the kind of neighborhood that I'm from the kind of environments and, and, and stuff that I've been through I represent those people that are in that neighborhood that I'm from you know they don't really have a voice um, and even when they do get a voice it's hard for them a lot of my people to articulate our story in a way that the masses can kind of digest it so I'm that voice for them so I represent them and my music is is for them and to tell their story so that's where the street element comes in and uh, the wisdom part comes in it's just um, along with a lot of other things that I'm into I'm into religion and spirituality a lot you know like um, really dig deep into the Bible and all of the other religious books and um, have really grasped onto the Bible you know and all all of the writings that come along with that and so you know it really like I'm scholarly in a, a biblical way you know and, and historically so all of that is me so my music is really just an honest expression of who I am so all of that comes through like I just try to be well rounded so militant street wisdom kind of is a three pronged um, embodiment of who Mickey Halstead really is Dope fiends in the doorway, dice game behind the gate, dub on a fade, 20 mo on a 6 or 8, hype in the reps the game, chill bitch that shit could wait, I know you don't want credit, you want me from the other day, show these run up in the stove, Arab on they every move, last year he shot a 10 year old, just for stealing juice, gauge by the counter, 9 behind the register, hates George Bush guts but he gotta love America, he's getting money here, ships his bread back home, they give him tax breaks, banks give him easy Loans. Let's one nigga work, do sitting on the crib. The Uncrowned King. Uncrowned King, could you tell us a little about it? Like, what was the purpose? Man, the purpose of it was really, um, if, if you know, a lot of people that are not familiar with Mickey Hall said, or are familiar with me, the people that are familiar know that I've been through a lot of different situations. You know, I started with Kanye West. I got a deal with Cash Money Records. I then got out of that deal, signed with Jermaine Dupree over at Virgin Records. None of those things really came to fruition. I never put an album out. After the last situation, I really just kind of lay low, um, watching the music scene, what was going on, and try to stake my claim and see the way and the avenue was best for me to approach it. So after really surveying the landscape, I felt it was time for me to reintroduce myself to the people. And Uncrowned King is that reintroduction. 
um, somebody that's been here that has really not reached the pinnacle that you know that I know that I am gonna reach. So it's just like man, Uncrown King, I've been respected by a lot of people, like a lot of people that are major, major artists, like the number one and number two artists and rap artists in the world, Kanye and Lil Wayne, I've had close relationship, working relationships with. Those are two people that really know what I do and respect my craft and see me as a peer, you know what I'm saying? So that just kind of, you know, Uncrowned King is a befitting title because you know, like I might run into not too long ago. I ran into Jada Kiss. He tells me how big a fan he is. I've been a fan of his. I I never knew that he was a fan of mine. So in some circles, those that know really know. And so I was trying to just with Uncrowned King state that claim and let people know that you know this reintroduction is not somebody that's just new or that's a rookie I'm not a rookie by no means you know I'm not really a veteran veteran yet but I've paid a certain amount of dues and and have got a certain rapport amongst the people that really are in the know and so on Crown King is really that reintroduction of Mickey Austin okay let's um, touch on Lil Wayne because <clears throat> I know in a recent article he said how you influenced him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how do you think you influenced him? Man, I mean, it was a, uh, it was shocking. It was a blessing that he he said that because they really just asked him. You know, I've seen growth in your albums, and I've seen, you know, your style kind of change from from wobbly wobbly drop it like it's hot to now you know what kind of start started that mat maturation process or your growth as an MC and they named a couple of people that they felt might have influenced him. he was like no nah, if anybody made me step my game up it was a guy named Mickey from Chicago and like that was big because he didn't have to say that. You understand what I'm saying? And for him to say that is a beautiful was a beautiful is a beautiful thing because it let me know that certain work that I've done is not really gone in vain and people appreciate me. Like I've never wrote for Wayne. Um, I guess my music that he heard, I had some powerful music when I was over there at Cash Money. It never will see the light of day until I blow up and then they put out all that music on me because I lost like 70 records over there. But um, the stuff that I came there with, Wayne was a big fan of that. He was a big fan of me as an MC. And so he's a sponge as most intelligent and great people are. They soak up stuff that's around him so he definitely soaked up what I was doing and 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 I was and and it made him a better MC so that was dope that he you know gave me that acknowledgement Mickey Halstead shotground.com we both brilliant I'm in the house those that know really know get in tune get right or get left Mickey Halstead the uncrowned king